Okay guys, I'm back at the boat. Uh, <laughs> uh, man, I, I, well, let me start from the beginning. I took out the boat last week and I was hesitating. Uh, the carburetor was clogged with a lot of crap from that ethanol and the gas, so I had to pump everything out, clean it. I had to have the carburetor rebuilt. The float was already saturated with the stuff and it was heavy and it was flooding the carburetor, so I had to rebuild it every time. So, came back to the boat, put the carburetor on, both engines are running fine. So now, I'm, <clears throat> I'm planning on, on washing the boat and the next step is um, the deck. The boat got painted last uh, year. Actually, it's a year and a half now since I painted it. Uh, I came out okay, the, the, the white, pretty white, but I haven't done the 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 uh, anti-slip uh, areas. That's the one with the little mesh. So I was looking to do the sand with the paint and I picked a couple of colors and the guy did a sample on the front. It's too gray for me. It, it looks like a, like a fishing, fishing boat. I don't want to look in that way. So I was looking online and I saw this padded, uh, this uh, rubber material. Uh, there's several kinds, so there's seed deck and there's, um, well, let me lower the radio here. So there's, uh, there's seed deck and there's another, they're like eight or 10. So, uh, and, they, and they go from different prices. They have a tacky, uh, some of them you have to put this glue down, and trowel it and then put it down. Some of them have a tacky backing so you just peel the paper. I like that one. So I'm going to go for that. So I measured the area. Uh, they come in rolls of 7 by 3. I think I'm going to need three rolls in the back. Um, but then I started walking around the back. Uh, I've noticed for the past two years now, or maybe longer than that, the left hatch is soft. When you walk on it, it's getting soft. And the, my fiberglass guy tells me that there's, there's water in there. And I said, well, how to get in? Well, there's a hatch on the hatch. There's a little round opening maybe through there. So now I'm beginning to open it. So let me let me continue and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the process. Um, there's always something to do. Let me put it here. doing anything with my arm but I get bored so I'm almost done I already took out the several pieces as you can see this is supposed to be a solid piece of um, balsa wood and it's all eaten up so I removed that there's another piece there so I already found a piece for about 25 bucks on, e on eBay uh, or Amazon I believe so it's 24 by 24, and that's what I'm planning on removing. So let me continue this piece here. And basically you clean it, you put the balsa wood with, with uh, you know, you glue it on, then you put uh, epoxy material, and you put the glass, and then you, you saturate it with the epoxy, etc. I'm not gonna be doing that part, so I'll be doing this, the demo.
So every time I cut or I dig a hole, it's uh, wet. Turn it this way a little bit. So I, I did some test holes. This area is pretty much dry, but this area was wet and and hollow. So every time I would drill in, it will go and hit the back panel. So meaning there's no wood there. So there's some wood here and here. So I'm just going to remove this as much as I can today. I don't think I'll be able to do the whole thing today. I don't have the right tools. I've got to bring some some white spatula material. I'm doing this with a screwdriver. This is not adequate for this. It's pretty stuck. See, this is all soggy. Everything is soggy. So maybe I should just let it dry. Let it dry, and then I will cut it smaller. Maybe I should do that now. Cut it smaller, and then try to remove the piece. Um, this is pretty thick uh, material. So we're going to need here uh, a quarter inch. Yeah, it's a. No, it's more like half an inch. So I'm gonna have to get two pieces. I don't know if they make it, if I have it in half. I'm gonna have to get two quarters, put them together. Uh, but I will know for sure when I clean it because it's got different, different valleys and different heights. So I need to bring a bigger tool. This is the biggest screwdriver I have here, so I can so I can pry it and. Uh, See if I can do this cut here. wet so uh, I'm gonna have to just let it dry and maybe I'll call my buddy and he can come and help me with a with the right tools I have the tools at home to do this kind of stuff <clears throat> I still kept a lot of tools from construction when I used to do the job I got some, some bars It'll be perfect to, to do this. This is good fire glass. Oh, man, it's tough. So I'm gonna let it dry. Maybe I'll cut it in smaller pieces. <laughs> um, so let's leave it like that for now. I got a T-shirt down here picking up all the bigger stuff, and then I gotta vacuum the small dust. So basically, I can't do the decking until I fix this because this is all soft when you walk on it. It will give away because this was hollow. Basically, it was very hollow. So 
can't have that, uh, can't do the decking. And once the decking is done, also I'm going to do paint in the front and on the sides with the gray. Um, I have a couple of samples. Let me see if the camera's still running. <sighs> okay. A couple of samples here that I, I had a guy do for me. And this one, it color, it's like a bone. And this is a light gray. It's dirty. It's a light gray. And in the front, just about uh, a month ago, uh, my guy did a, uh, get down here. He did a sample on the front, on the hatch, with a, a, a stronger gray. I don't know if I'm gonna go over that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, it doesn't look that dark now. Maybe that's the way to go. So if you guys can give me a, some advice, say that color versus this color. That's, that's the lightest gray there is. Uh, as far as the boat is concerned, it runs good. It's just there's a lot of small details to get done. Uh, the deck is one of them. See the the blotchiness on the on the paint there. It's already faded. That's basically the primer underneath. The gel coat is gone. So I have to get that painted. And I'm kind of kind of leaning towards the light gray. The sides were painted. Can't tell because it's filthy. And then the side and the flybridge got painted. Also the interior. The varnish, I did the varnish uh, last uh, July. Uh, well, I didn't do it. I, I had the guy do it for me. Uh, he did it before and it lasted uh, 10 years. And I protected it with a canvas. And when I took the boat out to get it bottom painted, I worked on the on the swimming platform back here. And when I finished, that thing looked like that that bulkhead. It was glossy, very nice color, and basically the, the ducks come here and take a crap on it. They sleep overnight on the back of the boat, and they really are <laughs> messing up the, they already ate up the finish. There's the, uh, now you can see it in the sun. Uh, he didn't do a pretty even job as far as the sand is concerned. I think he did it by hand, and the best way to do it is with a strainer. Put the sand in the strainer and shake it because when you kind of sprinkle it like salt it doesn't come out that even i like the ocean a lot i like the the water i like boating but man this this repair uh routine is getting old i mean and then there's some things that i'm doing that it doesn't that i don't need to do i mean i i, I did the varnish and i did the ropes and everything around here i don't know if you saw the video that i did i did the carpeting um, and I have to do it because it's expensive to get it done. They they want the carpet. They wanted nine hundred dollars to do the carpet over here. It's only two feet long, and I did it. And then I put a plastic over it to protect it. Um, I don't know if you can see it. The bag in the way. It's a nice thick carpet. Also in the bathroom. You know, and uh, it. I did the the uh, formica on the counters. I, I, I did the varnish, uh, I, I completely stripped the boat of every wood piece you see inside the boat, everything, everything, every piece that could be removed, I removed it and I took it home and I sanded it and sanded it and sanded it and sanded it and then started varnishing and gave it a lot of coat to varnish. Uh, I done a lot, I done a lot in this boat. It's it's uh it's my boat it part of me i i like coming here sometimes i i just come and watch tv have a little a little uh brandy and 
um, or some or some cognac or something. Uh, you know, go get a pizza and eat pizza, and you know, when the boat is, boat is running, just go cruising around the marina. It's fun. Uh, I mean, I'm already semi-retired. If I sell the boat and I'm gonna be home all day, I'm gonna go nuts. <laughs> okay, so, and I don't wanna buy a, a trailer or boat. It's it's a hassle, especially now. So I already did that, and it was a hassle. You gotta drive all the way from home, and you know, there's not a lot of places to park it, and it is what it is. So I decided to do the deck, and then once I rip everything out, I'm gonna buy the I'm gonna buy the balsa today. It'll be here in about three four days, and then I'll get the guy to work on this and and replace it, and then I can go and order the deck. I already measured it. And and I think it's gonna look nice. And I think I'm gonna do the 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 flybridge also. Um, so, all right, guys. So I just wanted to give you a little, you know, preview of what I'm doing here. Since I can't do any shooting, can can do anything basically. Uh, if if my therapist see me that I'm working on the on the boat, she's gonna have to, gonna tell me what are you doing? You know, she's not gonna have a fit, but she's not gonna like it. You know. So, but I'm getting better. The arm is moving better, and you know, if I don't, I, I can't have it s straight all the time. You got to move it around to get those muscles working. So, little exercise is good. It's just that I can't do any heavy lifting, and I'm not doing any heavy lifting. So, that's what it is. So, okay, guys, uh, I'll continue with the job here, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.